All right, this is number two from um, 32320. And this is um, the slope intercept practice. And this is number nine. So, I'm sorry, not number nine, number 11. And so we say that we've got f of three equals negative two, and then f of zero equals one. So this is a function. I have an input value I put in. My x is always my end value, and this is my output, and that's why I'm calling it y. So I got two equations. Two. I got uh, three comma negative two, and I've got zero comma one. So I'm going to make a line out of that. So first I'm going to find the slope. And that's y sub two minus y sub one over x sub two minus x sub one. So this is going to be x sub one, y of one, x sub two, y sub two. And so I'm going to have one minus a negative two. Remember, I'm putting in a negative value for y sub one. I'm going to put in parentheses and it's going to be zero minus three on the second one. So x of two and x of one. So opposite negative is positive. So this is going to be three over negative three. That of course equals a negative one slope. And that can be represented as uh, in many ways. And so I'm going to choose one point here and I'm going to choose this first one right here to go for, from. And remember it's y minus y sub one equals m x minus x sub one. So I'm going to substitute in my y of 1, which is going to be negative 2. So y minus a negative 2. Once again, when I plug in a negative value, I make sure I use parentheses because it's opposite of a negative right there. It equals my slope is negative 1. So I can put negative x and then minus 3. So opposite of negative is positive. y plus 2 equals negative x plus 3 and That's, this would be called point slope. Actually, this is point slope. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. And y equals negative x plus 1. And if I were to graph, I'm not saying to graph it, this is going to cross at positive 1, and it's got a negative slope of 1. And it's going to look something like that. And I can always test it. I can always test that this is true. So I can say that y equals negative x plus 1. So I'm going to plug in values. Now we already know that these are values that we've come up with here. And so if I plug in a negative 2 for y, negative 2 equals and then 3 opposite of whatever x is, 3 plus 1. So negative 2 equals negative 3 plus 1, and negative 2 equals negative 2. And so it checks there. And we can also test it on the second one here. And so I'm going to say uh, y is 1, e 1 equals uh, opposite of whatever x is, which is 0 plus 1, and 1 equals um, 0 plus 1, and 1 equals 1. So it checks. So the, that equation, this equation here, is true for both points. So we're good to go. And here's number 13. All right, so we're talking about it's being reflected. So what we have, we start here, x and y coordinate plane. Here's x and here's y. We're starting out at 0, 2, and we have another point at negative 2, 5. And so that's my line right there. And we're being reflected across the y-axis. And remember, the y-axis is right here. So if I had a mirror here to reflect it, the distance between these two points here, this is negative 2, and this, of course, is 5. This distance here is 2 between these two points, and it's 5 from here. So therefore, if I go up 5 here and 2, I'm going to put a dot right there, and that's going to be a positive 2. 
and 5. So once again, when it's reflected across the y-axis, it's going to be a mirror image of itself with the mirror being right at the y-axis. So therefore, the new line is going to go exactly through that's 0, 2. Uh, that looks like the origin, but it's not. It should be up here. It's up there. And so these are going to come through right at the same line. And to have the slope is going to be different. So in other words, we're starting with a slope of y equals, now this one This one here is uh, 5 over negative 2. And plus 2, that's my original one. My new one is y equals, and it's going to go up 5 over 2, 5 over positive 2, x, and it's still going to cross at 0, 2. The only difference is it's negative, and this one here is positive. That's the only difference. So the slopes, very similar to each other. The y-axis intercepts are exactly the same. 